So um, today I'm doing a wash day with Sotanicals. I just rinsed out the Master Hair Cleansing Detox. And I got two uses out of it. So it's empty. So I highly recommend this product. But um, right now I got the Moni Moisture Slip Deep Conditioning Fertilizing Dip Protein and Glycerin Free. This is how much I use so far. It has a good slip on it. It says so tanical Moni Moisture Slip Deep Conditioning Fertilizing Dip is a natural deep conditioning designed to provide optimal hair and scalp support with botanical extracts and nutrients while also offering moisture circulation and damage repair through advanced activities. So here it is. It's protein, like I said, protein and glycerin free if you're interested in that. And I did the back and side, so I'm gonna just do the this front with you guys. I just and I just wrap it up in bantu knots once I apply. So here you probably see this is how much new growth I got. I haven't gotten a relaxer since January, so that is after I washed out the detox. So let me make sure curls pop a little bit back there. So what I do is I tend to, let me take off my glasses, tend to get the front moisturized. See, I just fly to the bottom and work my way up. Yeah, I might just keep my glasses off. So, what products of Sotanical should I try next? What works for you? Um, I just took out some braids, so I wanted to do a moisture treatment today. Let's see. Hmm. I'm just gonna go with that one. A moisture treatment. Just get it back. It has a um decent slip to it. Feel like I don't like to add my deep conditioning soup super wet hair. And then I just kind of finger to tangle for the loose strands that I didn't catch. When I detangled, um, after taking out my braids. So have y'all tried the deep, the um, what's this, the Master Hair Cleansing Curl Detox? Have y'all tried that? Did you like it? Um, I enjoy it. So that's my second jaw of that one, and I'm just trying to get this. Moni Moisture Slip Deep Conditioning Fertilizing Dip. They know they got they have some names, don't they? <laughs> Tongue twister. So I'm gonna just once I feel like it's all coated pretty good to my liking. Cause I'm kind of heavy handed with deep conditioners. Are you? <laughs> or do you take it? You know, you put a little light, I think. Thickness of my hair, I like to use enough where I feel like it's really coated properly. Let me put this up there with that one. So I feel like I cover it. So what I do, I just twist it like a bantu knot. And then just wrap it around itself. And then I just go to the next one. Let me just try to break this one up. Let me just probably just do these two more sections and should be good. Sorry. Hmm. Get this 
areas. Looks like this is the areas first. So I want to get them. Whew, ain't nothing like taking out braids and washing your hair. Whew. This feeling. Hold up. Let's see. Hold on one second. Oh, okay, I'll do it this one. I might break it into a smaller section. Hold on. Let's see. There we go. Get my bearings right. And I just like to apply it. Now I'll wait till that to get out the way. Let me go for this one. This is bigger, thicker section, so I like to break it apart. Put thick fishing in between. Hmm, I ain't up have to use a lot of this one. Like this, uh, well, maybe need to add just a little water to help the slippage. But that's all right. I like to just add mine to um, t shirt dry hair. I like to add my deep conditioning. After I shampoo or clay wash or something or detox, I like to um, just put like a t shirt on my hair and get rid of that excess water. I just find that when I don't put on super wet hair, I get better results. Do you do super wet hair or damp hair or t-shirt dried hair for about 15 minutes or so, then you put your deep conditioning? What works for you guys? Let me know down below. And also, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy my videos and my review of products and other, and other fun things. I'm just trying to document my hair journey and any tips or tricks you guys do to help me transition on your natural or whatever. Like, you got some tips, tricks to add moisture or lymph retention let me know i always like to learn different things and kind of tweak it to my own liking so everybody hair is different everybody's journey is going to be different but you can always try things and see how it works for you I think I'm just do this section together. So I'm using a pretty big amount of this stuff. But I have another one so I can open that one up and just use both of them. But so far, the smell is there, but it's not like overpowering. Just due to people who um, is not up for the smell, but it's light. It's like a little air freshener, I'm like um, for breeze air freshener. That's what it smells like. So I just kind of rub the product in there. Get them get some strings out that's got stuck in there from when your hair shed and it be locked in with braids. So a couple strands are coming out. That's fine. My hair was braided, so it's not like a big deal. 
but let's make sure everything is coated. Just then I go through it a little bit to once you let the product work the product in get a good decent slip on it. I just do that to get them little strands out like I said. I think I'm good. I'm gonna put up the rear. And then I'll come back and let you know how I feel about the rinse out. Because it can feel good applying, but feel difficult when you want to rinse it out sometimes. So I'm done with that. And then wipe my hands off. Then I just put one of these on. Now I go under the dry it for about 30 minutes or so and come back with my opinion so this is i use about maybe two thirds of it or whatever use pretty a decent amount I probably got another use so most of their products to me i get about two uses out of them so yeah, I'll be back after washing this out. So I let my hair air dry overnight and now I'm putting in the slip and slide, not proof hair glide from Soul Tentacles. And I list all the ones, um, the products I'm using down below. Use about that much. I can't get the, uh, Product at the bottom. So I just put it in there. Oops, too much. I'm gonna make sure I get my edges. And I already did like the back and sides. So I just want to show you guys this one. Next, to lock in the to lock in the moisture. I'm using the Lock and Roll Twist and Throw Out Penetrating Hair Butter. Let's use a little bit. Warm it up in my hands. And put it on there. Next, I'm going to use the Curl Blades Hair Glaze. Do you have any names on there? Um, very liquidy. Smells good, all the products. Then I go in my, sorry, my comb. Come around a little bit from the ends, work my way up, just to distribute the product. Okay, make some of braided. Just braid it down. If you can see it there.
Next, I'm going to add a little bit of this curling glaze to the end. Just a tad. I'm using this size prime rod. I've been using the this size and the pink size, as you see in the back. I'm just rolling it up. Just help me blend the two textures when I roll it up. I just roll it like that. And then I just snap it. That's it. So I'm going to finish this up and then we'll come back with the final results when it dries. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> I mean, because y'all have seen me power rod braid out. So I'm going to um, come back with the finished results. So this is the final results of using the Sotanica products from earlier I show you. And I had them braided and rolled up for three days. So um, this is three days. It feels very moist, moisturized. Um, looks pretty good. Got a little shine to it. So here's the results up close. You can see the little Got a great hole from it. Um, from the product, soft. See a little definition. So I think you did a pretty good job. Um, this one didn't try too well, but it's all right. It's always a piece that's out of sync, but here it is. Mm, looking cute. A little back, a back then. Probably put too much product back there, but yeah, I think it's pretty came out pretty good. Let me show you the back. So I just did a simple braid out with and um, rolled them up with perm rods like you seen earlier. Definitely, we try these three combos again for our stylers. And I'll see y'all next time. But I definitely recommend everything I tried this wash day. And it looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. Let me just go a little slower so you can see it again. There you go. All right. I think it had, came out pretty decent. All right, see you next time. Do a little. And I just took them down. I really didn't separate the braids, um, curls individually. I just unwrapped them. Mm hmm. Like a little bounce back. Feel very moisturized. All right, see y'all next time. Don't forget to comment down what Sultanic products that you like that maybe I should try next time. And see you next time.